class we discuss about representation of an AC quantity by a rotating vector. Before that, we will discuss some important terms. Number one scalar. Physical quantities are described completely by a single number with a unit. Examples are temperature, density and quantity of electric discharge. Number two vector. Quantities have both magnitude and direction. Examples are velocity, force and displacement. Number three phase are a sinusoidal quantity may be represented by a line fixed at one end and rotating counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is a convention at a velocity equal to the angular velocity of the sinusoidal quantity. This rotating line is called the phasor. In the theory of electric circuits, voltage and current can be represented in the complex plane by radius vectors characterized by a magnitude and phase with respect to a reference angle. Phasor is a complex quantity while a vector is a simple quantity. Phasors are moving with time. Number four, reference phasor. Since the phase difference remains constant, any phasor may be drawn along the convenient direction. This phasor will be called a reference phasor. The position of other phasors relative to the reference phasor become fixed. This is a phase diagram. Here V1 is a reference phasor. V1 is equal to V1 max into sin omega t. V2 is equal to V2 max into sin omega t plus pi 2. I1 is equal to I1 max into sin omega t minus pi 1. The phase angle is taken positive when measured counterclockwise and negative in the clockwise direction. The angular position of the phase are represent a position of time, not space. Number 5 phase difference. It is an angular displacement pi will remain constant as two vectors rotate in space. The angle pi is called phase difference. Number 6 phase diagram. The graphic representation of the phasors of sinusoidal quantities taken all at the same frequency with the proper phase relationship with respect to each other is called phasor diagram. Limitations of phasor diagram. A phasor represents only one position of the waveform and therefore it does not give a complete description of a sinusoidal quantity. A phasor diagram is drawn to represent phasors at one frequency only. In this graph, two waveforms. One is a voltage waveform, another is a current waveform. This is sine waveform, this is cos waveform. I can write V is equal to Vm into sine omega t. I is equal to Im into cos omega t. The cos omega t can be written as sine omega t plus pi by 2. We know that sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Sin omega t plus pi by 2 is equal to sin omega t into cos pi by 2 plus cos omega t into sin pi by 2. We know that cos pi by 2 is equal to 0, sin pi by 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, sin omega t plus pi by 2 is equal to cos omega t. Now, I rewrite the equation. V is equal to Vm into sin omega t. I is equal to Im into sin omega t plus pi by 2. Here the angle pi remain constant as the two vectors rotate in space the angle pi is called phase difference. The seventh term is in phase and out phase. When the two voltage and current sine waves of the same frequency reach their maxima and minima at the same instance of time they are said to be in phase otherwise they are out of phase. Here, the two current waveforms I1, I2, this is a resultant current 
RMS value of resultant current, current IE is equal to or the resultant wave is equal to root of I1 square plus I2 square. Here this is uh, two voltage waveforms E1 and E2. The phase difference is 60 degree. Voltage waves E1 and E2 are out of phase. They are said to have a phase shift of pi by 3 radians or 60 degrees. E2 is lagged behind E1 by 60 degree. As it reaches maximum value 60 degree after E1. Three conditions of phase difference. Condition 1. I and E are in phase. Here this is E max. This is I max. Here the phase difference is 0. Condition number 2. I lacks E by pi radians. This is pi radians. Here this is I max. This is E max. The current phase are lagging behind the EM of phase R by pi radians. Condition number 3. I leads E by pi. So this is pi. This is E max. This is I max. The current attains its maximum or zero value pi radians earlier than the instant when the EM of attain its maximum or zero value. In this case, the current is said to leave the EM of by pi radians. I can write I is equal to I m into sin pi. E is equal to E m into sin theta plus or minus pi. Pi represents a lagging or leading angle depending on whether the current lags behind or leads the E m of. We know that current and E m of are both phase or quantities and they can be represented graphically by rotating vectors. Here this is polar notation. Here OP is equal to A, OQ is equal to B. The magnitude and phase angle is expressed A theta. B minus pi. Why I put minus sign? Angles are measured positive in the anti-clockwise direction. The quantities may also be written as A into E power J theta or B into E power minus J pi. The next is complex notation. This is OQ that is equal to 5 angle 90 degree. I can write J5. The symbol J represents an operator whereby the phase are 5 0 degree is rotated through an angle of 90 degrees. OA have two components A and JB. And they can be written as OA is equal to A plus JB where A is equal to horizontal component of OA, B is equal to vertical component of OA. Therefore, theta is equal to turn inverse of B by A. For multiplication and division, polar form is more convenient. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.